so my first question for all of you, whoever wants to take on the question is um, like, let's get an overview of the new show Thick House for those who don't know what it's gonna be. The show is everything that has been missing in modeling and in just today's society. And I think that it embraces body positivity. It embraces real models and real plus size girls really competing to be Miss Thick House. And I think that I, I for one, being able to sit next to Takara and Kelly and just really see how they embrace what this show is. I think that the show not only picked the perfect judges, um, but it really showed the models looking at Kelly and Takara that this can be us, you know, and this and to own your body and to own your beauty. And if you've never been in a room with Takara, understand when she walks in a room, it, it just, it is so illuminating. And I think that for a bunch of models to come into a world that they may have felt overlooked or um, not good enough, or just or just to see that you can really be fashion, you can be high, you can be beauty, you can be everything that this world and this, this society tells you you can't be. I think that this show embodies all of that and it shows you from the beginning to the end a, a bunch of amazing girls and models that are killing it and so mm -hmm. um as a guy i just i kind of stand back and i just I, i'm in awe with the contestants and the judges so you know and so that's that was the most important thing for me that is that this felt authentic because I told my manager, I was like, I don't want to do it if this is not really going to be what it's supposed to be. And so it it, it surpassed everything that I thought. So I, I'm in awe about it. I would say that the show was very transformative. I think to watch the girls go from episode one to the finale and to watch them really come into their own, it was beautiful. And every time we had to eliminate someone, as time went on, it got more and more emotional because we just were like, <laughs> we're watching you girls grow. We're watching, at, oh my gosh, every challenge, they were pushing themselves and really just trying to give it their all. And we, like we've said, like we were all taking it very seriously. The contestants, us as the judges, we really understood that this was more, this was more than just like a modeling show. This was more than pretty pictures we all understood the representation that was needed here. Um, and so it was, it's was. it been a long time coming. We have, this should have happened after Takara's season. Like this should have happened 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, and we all really understood the importance of that. It, it, the show made me super proud. I was, yeah. I was super proud just to know that my thick house, my mm -hmm. thick girls, you know, we are always ready to show up and to show out and just to have the platform to see these women to be able to come on and to show the world, show us and to show themselves that, hey, I'm beautiful. I got this confidence. I got this personality. I can do this. And to show up and to show out, it's like, yes, honey, come through, you know, and it's just warmed my heart and then also to be on the other end of the competition and to be able to be you know to really give real advice and to really be um, invested into the girls yeah. and into the judges and know that we really came from our hearts we we really were sincere with how we felt and we shared it with one another and we should shared it with the with the cast and the crew so just yeah the overall experience was just a wonderful experience for me and i'm i was so blessed to be a part of this i'm so glad that the shade room reached out to me and was like we gotta have you as the host for this and i am so gracious and, and honored that they picked me and then to be alongside kelly and ej was just a treat it was just very delightful and like the piggyback on what they already said the women came in and they were real shapes real bodies and real personalities and everyone gets to see them shine and um i'm i'm excited to be a part of this brown groundbreaking show absolutely and i i can't wait to watch it those were some great 
you know, descriptions. And I, I really feel like uh, this is going to be something that people are going to be talking about for a long time. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I, you know, was reading about it was that, uh, you know, we've seen a few modeling shows in the past. Um, and obviously, you know, Takara Jones, we've seen you um, on a modeling show, but there are a few things that make this show different and make it stand out because it follows the model, uh, the contestants um, navigating in the age of social media. Can we touch on that aspect a little bit? I think that that's a really, really, really big part of it because, you know, when Takara was on Top Model, there, there was no social. You know, what we saw on TV is a glimpse of what we got to see and, you know, that was that. Today, everything is so instant and so, um, and so uh, in your face that you, you have no choice but to learn it at a, at a rapid pace, you know? I, I, I think that what is more challenging now with social media because every everybody has an opinion, everybody feels like they can do it better, everybody feels like, <clears throat> and we're, we're in a, everybody's a troll, you know? People rather tear you down than support you. And so you have to dip, deal with all of that on top of being in a competition, on top of knowing what this is and knowing how to navigate through the, the BS of the, all the negativity and all the hate, you know, somebody might say, oh, they're not big enough. It's such a blessing and a curse to be involved in the social world. But I think for the models, it's even a little more tough because everybody has an opinion now and everybody can just say what they want to say and, you know, and project what they want to project on you. And so you have to know how to block that out and, and be great and shine through all that. That, that question is very, complex. I think having friends who are currently plus size models, there is an understanding when you're getting booked, they almost every client will ask the girl what their social media is. And that will be a determining factor in whether or not they get chosen. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely something that we talked to the girls about. Um, like off camera, we talked to them about making sure like their social media was right. It's hard, like EJ saying, it's hard to navigate. Um, I, I work in social media as my job. And I think part of the competition was trying to get the girls out of social media posing. Um, it was one of the challenges that we had actually, like, okay, this is cute for Instagram, but we need you to model for real. It, it was a it was a bit of a challenge. It was a bit of a challenge, but I think um, that's part of the process. It's part of the process. And so, you know, it was, we were dealing with social media all around and yeah. it was a really big part of the competition. Um, whether it was something we would try to get them out of, trying to prep them for. And even now that the show has been announced, like there has been so much contact. I mean, I know EJ Takara and I, we have yeah. gotten so many DMs, so many emails. Um, yes. I know once Shade Room um, announces who the girls are, who the contestants are, there it's gonna be a lot of criticism um, mm. and people thinking that they could have done it better or like, why didn't I get chosen for this? And so, you know, it's gonna be a lot of work like prepping the girls and making sure that they understand. Last question, what is something that people don't know about this show? Maybe something behind the scenes, a little tidbit that, you know, no one really knows right now. So is there something that you can dish out just before you know we see the show i just want i just think that we have an amazing uh guest judge that comes on the show she just was so perfect for what this show represents and i can't wait for people to see uh who it is and the finale on it i would say i don't know if you guys know that the show is not scripted at all there were no there, there, we had nothing. We came in and we just <laughs> did it from the heart. Like, yeah. <laughs> and so why there we were love a lot. So much. I think yeah, that's why there's we love a it so lot much. of unexpected twists and turns, and it it got really good. Like, mm -hmm. I I'm not speaking from a bias. I would sit and watch this show because it yeah. was very entertaining. And like Takara said, like we were so invested by the end of it, like I was spent because it just was, we had given it our all and I think it's gonna be super entertaining.